Welcome to Joe G Cards. In this video, I'm going to show you what I'm keeping from the total submission. The reason why I'm basically doing these, it's just like something different, right, from like just basically opening the boxes. But you know, I, will, I won't sell this. I don't care what grade it is, if even, even it's a one, right? You know, I, I'm going to keep this card. I just like this card, yeah. This, I'm not selling. I'm keeping this. This is going on my display. I'm working on a display, yeah. Obviously, I need to buy some stuff. So, most of the other cards are mostly, like, just for investment purposes. So, like, Pidgeotto, PSA 10. The first edition, Gem Mint 10. Going to keep this for now, right? I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence about this. I'm probably going to keep this because these... These reverse foils are very undervalued right now. I know TCA Gaming's been wiping a lot of them off the market. But um, basically just, <laughs> you know, you've got to... You know, YouTube is a very thing where you get people that like to give information away. And, you know, some people will basically tell you some stuff about certain cards and that. But, you know, you don't really want to blab too much because if you're first to the product yeah then you're gonna basically you can make a gain quicker than someone else so this is a japanese meowth i checked the pop report on this and this is actually a pop one card this is the only one that exists when i did find this on ebay i did think it was very odd and it was very rare because i scrolled through like a thousand pages one day and i, I must have been sitting here for like Two and a half hours just going through pages and pages and pages of pokemon like and i literally sat there and i was like i've never seen this before i'm gonna buy it right that's why i don't care if it's a grade eight it's literally a pop one obviously there might be hundreds of them out there i don't know you know but for something that seems a bit rare like odd like that then i'm gonna buy it and just basically sit on it i mean it's not gonna be worth like a million pound you know you know <laughs> It's not going to be worth something like that, but, you know, we've got this Blastoise 5. We're going to keep this. I'm keeping all the top stuff right now, as I think it's very underrated. Um, I do think it's going up. The original box, uh, so here's a little backstory of the box. The box of the tops card, yeah, uh, Blastoise, which comes out of, you know, there's a foil Charizard, which is around £400. Now, the top Series 1 box was selling around two 300 about three, four months ago. And it's literally gone to like six to 800 pounds. So, it is moving, yeah? So, I'm expecting tops to move as it's gaining traction. So, people are like kind of swinging and getting interested in it. As other people are beginning to grade it, right? Which, you know, we've got another Gem Mint 10. Uh, you know... Uh, these are these are gonna be valuable. They're gonna be valuable. They're gonna be they're gonna I say they're gonna be hitting at least a thousand pound Like I've got one on eBay right now at a thousand pound and someone probably would be like well, that's way too expensive, but It's not because it's it's there's probably less than 200 on the population There's probably less than 200 uh, on the population and It's it's very it's rare, yeah. It's not easy, like, to basically stack tens on. But you know, we've got a ten geo dude. I do have two of them, and that is a really hard grade as well, because as it's a sticker. So we're keeping this. We're keeping the pokey flu for investment purposes. We do have a gem mint ten. Obviously, keeping one back, right? Because I do have a couple of them. If I do sell out all my others, I maybe get rid of it, yeah. And then we got a. First edition nine, yeah. The Caterpie we're keeping, right? We got to keep the Executor. I got four of these now, keeping them all. Jungle is a solid investment right now. Anyone who is flipping jungle cards is a muppet. There's a guy on eBay right now selling Jungle Pikachu's first edition for like fifty pound. His name's like PSA Pokemon. So there's you can go grab one if you want one, but you know I think he's a bit of a dickhead. <laughs> You know, like, he's just flipping cards, and it's like, you don't flip first edition cards. So we've got an animation cipher. That's pretty sick. Um, we've got a gem mint 10. I'm keeping this. Uh, I'm keeping this for a specific reason, but I'm not going to tell you why. I'm not going to tell you why. If you have any brain, you'll work it out yourself. Um, 
You have a first edition Kaiba, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. This one is rarer than LOB, yeah? Mark my words, right? This is rarer than LOB, right? LOB has been reprinted hundreds of times, yeah? That one hasn't, right? So we've got a Gem Mint 10. This is going on my set, set, yeah? So I'm keeping these uh, weird card ass spending cards. They're pretty sick. This Polyrath, uh... Evolutions Hollow is going into personal personal card uh, until it gets replaced. If I get a 10, and I'll replace it. Keeping this card, you know, I'm a Pikachu. I like Pikachu collector, yeah. So I'm like a Pikachu fan. So we've got a Metapod, Base 9. You know, I'm trying to complete a base set, PSA 9 set. You know, I still didn't even buy the Charizard yet. I'll buy it whenever, but, you know, I will complete it one day. And then we've got a Tops Mewtwo. PSA 9, yeah. And then we're swinging in with the fourth Ivy Soul as a PSA 9. So, uh, Corey knows that I'm stacking them, yeah. And if he's watching this video, he'll know that I just said his name. <laughs> you know, he knows what I'm up to, as he's a dude I speak to on Instagram. Um, he's a cool guy. So, I will see you next time. They are what I'm keeping. So, wait until the next submission comes back. Probably should be dropping in. I would say early next month as PSA is ramping up production and things are starting to move again. So hopefully the submissions should drop back every three months instead of waiting like seven, eight. That's just ridiculous. But thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Peace.